The war is in my brain. It's in your brain. It used to be outside for the land. In the land, not anymore. At some point, it shifted. It sniffed under my skin, under your skin. It pierced the membranes of your cells, yellow, thin. The engineered words targeted the brain cells. For every brain cell, this battle rages. In the non-existent virtual space, akin to the ancient Greek epic, intangible, infinite, is foaming and furing like Scylla and Charybdis. Digital green soldiers blink and shimmer the ethereal combatants of the surgical militant psych award, operating with syringes, filled with minions and myths aimed at my mind, at your mind. My right for thought is claimed by the enemy. My heartbeat is stolen, recorded, analyzed, processed, melted into messages targeting my eight gender income groups of consumers. Dreams are hacked and leaked on the fake news. My memories are encrypted and leaked too. There is a shameless database of desires. The midnight whales I see under my eyelids turn into compromise. The black oil of greed greases and glistens in the sheen of the luxury Novarish mansions in Miami. In the TV ads in Las Vegas, the screams in the chubby hands of the toddlers, the flats of the skyscrapers, flash the distorted faces of dictators. The deep water shellfish and silent sharks are not safer in their caves than you on your cell phone. Listen! This is what I saw in my collective geopolitical dream last night. We all are an enormous sea monster. It moves. It's octopus tentacles. Its hydro-like heads rotate like ten cabins. It breathes black ink, spitting out toxic fumes that immediately shift into slogans in our very ability to think, to be. The monster retreats into the valley of the ocean. When in danger, it changes colors, views, ideologies, like a chameleon in camouflage. It calculates everything. Today, it is a rock. Tomorrow, it is a weed or a jellyfish. Next, it is a neo-Nazi or a communist. But it doesn't really matter because the monster doesn't have beliefs, principles, no ideas. All it has is the insatiable lust for power. Indecent, like childborn, unbearable, like necrophilia, incest, cannibalism. All it wants, it wants to become us. It wants to devour us. Horny, hungry. Region yet robed in the priest gowns, the pope of the murderers with brown blood caked over the bubblegum pink and metal cross. The left frog of a fake god bent to it, squinting at us with a smirk, cack, a hammer and sickle in one tentacle, a swastika in the other. National flags of all countries in its horror tiara. The cheap aluminum of its artificial eye glitters me nasally at us. And there is nothing, nothing in the place where the heart should be. Where a human would expect to hear another prison being to have a heart. Because how can one exist without one? 
I hear it in my head. I have millions of steel tears, dank tears, and bullets that are screeching in the empty, dead, dirty chamber of my head. Because of course, it is all only in my head. Where else could it be? The Uber monster, the phantom, the beast, Babylonian beast of 2017, by whom existence is compromised, raped, split into shards of a myriad mirrors by its very invention. Billions and millions of trolls howling in its honor. And I don't know anymore. Where did the blue sky go? Where did the sun go? How do I find the animal innocence of the children? How do I stop it? Who is to help us when all gods are rotten in hell? Hey you! Non-existent! Hey you on Olympus! Can you hear me? from the depths.